Welcome to this update on Office 365 and Microsoft Classroom. So you may have seen that there's a couple of new messages in the admin center today. So one of them is about Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams was rolled out several months ago, but it's now being turned on by default for all Office 365 education users. So there is a reason for that, which we'll come to in a minute. So that's been turned on. So if you do need to turn that off, you have to go in there and manually turn off that license. So the other message we've got in the admin center is about the changes to Microsoft Classroom Preview. So Microsoft Classroom Preview is ending on July the 31st this year. So uh, just a couple of months left to use it. Um, after that, it's been replaced by Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams, it was turned on um, automatically that is then going to replace Microsoft Classroom. So you don't need to worry too much because all of that functionality that we've previously looked at in Microsoft Classroom is going to be available exactly the same inside Microsoft Teams as far as we're aware. So on the Microsoft site, um, there is a, a article about the new education team sites and there's a screenshot on there as well of what it will look like so down the left hand side you've got your Microsoft Teams which is a bit like um, your classes inside Microsoft Classroom and across the top you've got the tabs so you've got conversations, files, class notebook, assignment and quizzes and then a plus button. So that's pretty much exactly the same as what we had in Microsoft Classroom except now you've got the option to add extra tabs to that which will help partners develop um, add-ons for um, Microsoft Teams so we can add an extra functionality. And if we have a quick look at where Teams is at the moment, um, if you activate it before we had the Classroom app, and now we have the Teams uh, tab. And this can be downloaded as a desktop application, or you can just go into it through the browser, and you can see that you've got um, a list of your classes on there. So you will have those tabs going across the top here. That hasn't been released yet, but um, we're hoping that will be ready um, before July the 31st. So Microsoft have said that there will be a replacement for this um, by for the new school year. And School Data Sync will create those groups automatically, just like it does for Microsoft Classroom. So going forwards, you want to get familiar with Microsoft Teams, uh, start using it, have a play about with it. And as soon as the, that extra Classroom functionality is available in Teams, we'll give you an update.